Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. Today, Nissan Stadium as these two teams square off for a chance to be the champion of the Music City Bowl. Weeks of additional practice and prep for bowl games not only can set the tone for what we're going to see in this game, but for what might be in store next season as well. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes, taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the South Alabama Jaguars. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Kickoff team out there ready to tee it up in this bowl game. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Iowa's offense will get the first crack at it here. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him in belief. Nothing but green ahead. Inside the 30. He's at the 10. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown. What a way to start this game offensively. You find the matchup you like, you put it in his hands, and he does the rest. The defense looks like they were sleepwalking out there to start this game. One play, they go the distance to score a touchdown. This defense better wake up. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So the Iowa Hawkeyes offense will try to get something started with their first possession. A big challenge for both of these quarterbacks, Jesse, is dealing with a ball-hawking free safety on the other side. Well, you're right, Reese. QBs better be good with their eyes. Better not stare down wide receivers in this one, because if you float the ball down the middle of the field, that's getting picked. And these guys are going to be right in the middle of the field, flying all over the field, and quarterbacks will make sure that they are locked in and not throwing the ball near those guys. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Rides to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Goodness gracious, if you blinked, you missed it. Horrible blocking up front. Defender gets in there so fast. Did he line up in the backfield? Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Lopez wants to fire. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And the Jaguars have it with a first and ten. They'll run it from the gun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season and throughout your career, and then it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but 
Always fun, Jesse, um, to do uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played. But it was special to take the field with your guys one more time. But playing in games that had so much history. Leaves it with the back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. I get it that the game is the primary thing about going to a bowl, but there are so many festivities surrounding it, Jesse. What do you remember about something you experienced? There was a lot of pageantry when I think back to the bowl games I played in, and you have functions, you get to visit a brand new city, generally in warm weather, you get to meet the other team. There was some friendly competition. The biggest thing that stands out to me, though, was a street brawl against the Miami Hurricanes. Bourbon Street getting ready for the Sugar Bowl, about 120 deep. Hard to forget that. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. He's going to pass. Got it set up on the outside. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. Now after the short completion, it's second down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Fires left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. As a play caller, you feel confident throwing this out to the perimeter against zone coverage when you have that kind of timing and chemistry this quarterback and receiver do you saw it on that one they've moved to the 16 it's first and 10 from the gun the running back tries to hit the hole made a little something out of that run he picked up a couple down to the 14 Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Calls his own number. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll try to power their way ahead. The Jaguars get enough to move the chains. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. Now on first and goal as they try to answer that opener with a touchdown of their own. Let's go to the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, South Alabama. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Ready to try the point after. right down the boulevard. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. 
after that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Going to the running game. On the move at the 30. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. It's been punch, counterpunch throughout the early part of this game as we take a look at the first quarter stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Going downfield for the big play. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. And the returner will be brought down. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Ivory. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Quarterbacks love receivers that can do damage once they have the football in his hands. No doubt there, easy slant, completion, and then let your receiver go make hay once he has the ball. The Jaguars want to pick up the tempo. Quick completion to the right. No chance to run, but still a good game. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They'll line up for a second down play. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Lopez to pass. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. And a nice play by the defense. Third and short, you're thinking run most of the time, but a really nice job playing tight on the wide receivers, playing the pass and giving no space for the offense. And the Jaguars will send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. 
keep the pace, keep it going. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Makes the catch. It's Brown. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. This guy is just wearing them out. Another first down already has a couple of touchdowns in the first half, David. He has been a problem for this defense. And if I'm this offense, I'm going to continue to feature him. He's winning his matchups. I'm going to find him. It's just the first half, and he's already had himself a full game's worth of stats. The give is to Williams. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll give it to the back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Dropping back, it's McNamara. He looks that one in nicely. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. The Hawkeyes line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. And they won't be able to down it. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. The Jaguars will hustle to the line. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short game. So the offense gets an automatic first down after the roughing the passer penalty. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. They're bringing heat. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and 10 from the 30. Lopez wants to fire. Unleashes one. Got him downfield. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. From the gun, looking for a man. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars! Yeah, and the
the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Splits those uprights right in half. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do... He's got it downfield for a huge game! And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Trying to convert this second and short. He's looking to throw. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? Pressure coming. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. Another incompletion on third down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. It's good. And now they take the lead. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Comes out throwing on first down. Looking deep down the right side. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Reese, we figured we might get a Music City Bowl that would have social media buzzing. And through two quarters of football, indeed, that's the case. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to Reese and the guys for the conclusion of the Music City Bowl.
And the Hawkeyes will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. Starting this third quarter on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Motion from the offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Now improvising. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. And you usually don't bring in dime packages for running teams. You bring in dime because you know they're going to throw the football. you got more speed on the back end to cover. And defensive linemen know they have their job to do. And their job is to go get that quarterback and get that sucker on the ground. The Jaguars will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll signal for and make the fair catch right around midfield. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Free snap motion in the backfield. To the air, it's McNamara. Looking to the big tight end. Where did he find a hole in that secondary? And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. Defense, what are we doing? You can't miss that guy. How are you going to leave the big fella wide open? You can't act like you didn't see him line up. You know where he is. You knew coming into the game, he's a weapon. That had to be a coverage bust. The Hawkeyes will try to punch it in on first and goal. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Iowa. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Jaguars' offense ready to go back to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Farmer, and get you the football back. 
And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch. So pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Cross the 30, out to the 33, and gains four on the play. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? The back goes in motion. Lopez to pass. Looking left. He's got an open man. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big run for this offense. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Well. And the Jaguars moving quickly to the line. Trying to find his man on first down. Unloads it left. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Ooh, there's, there's an example, Jesse, of a receiver making his quarterback look bad. Most of the time, and make it look good and cover up for him. All those balls y'all don't throw online, but oof, that would hit him in a pretty good spot. He needs to come down with that one. Now on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. So surprised. We have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's got it down the middle. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening first and goal from the nine. That is so deflating on defense, too, because in your own red zone, third down, you need to make a stop. You know they're going to throw to the weapon at tight end, but it's one thing to draw it up on the blackboard. It's another thing to go execute and prevent that guy from catching the ball. He's so big. He's so athletic. You could have the perfect play call on, and he's still picking up the first. Touchdown, South Alabama! He shed tackles right and left and housed it. And step number one, when you want a great running back, someone who runs angry and continues to break tackle after tackle, this guy was unbelievable on that rush. I don't know, David, if this defense was ready for this guy. They got to do a better job as the game goes on, getting more hats to the football, because it's obvious now it's not going to be just one guy who brings him down. They've got to get extra hats to the football to stop this rushing attack. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They go 83 yards on the drive. That's the end of the quarter, and Iowa is on top. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. 
Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play caller. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. He's going for a big play downfield. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left. And, he can... and he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Hawkeye! I can hear the defensive coordinator in the next booth yelling, wrap up, you have to wrap up. Bring your feet, four points of contact. You hear all those stuff from your defensive coaches. But you know what? Sometimes the guy's just better than you. He makes a play and gets in the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finished it off with an exclamation point, running it in from the 19. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Obliterates him, still on the move. And the returner will be dragged down. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. He wants to throw. Setting up the screen. Running with power. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. Lopez wants to fire. Quickly to the tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. And you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff, and again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Looking to go up top on first down. He finds his man. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath.
The Jaguars want to move quickly. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws for the tight end. It's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Yeah, this defense is going to have to have a plan for this tight end, especially when he lines up in the slot because there's a lot of different routes he can run. And because of his size and his wingspan, he's very, very difficult to cover. The Jaguars will snap it on first and 10. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. All right, offense has got to be better. You've done a nice job getting the football to this point in the red zone, but now you can't go backwards. You've got to be able to get rid of the football if it's not there, and that was a terrible play giving up the sack. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Wide out in motion. Lopez to pass. Trying to get to him. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Got his man downfield. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. From the gun, he'll try to throw fires into the end zone and swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity and you just got to wonder if the pass rush affected the QB's accuracy on that throw he had his guy wide open in the end zone but he had to throw it a split second faster than he wanted to and the ball got away from him can the D deny them on second and goal he's looking to throw and the pressure gets him back at the 8 yard line you know, I wonder if the offensive coordinator is wishing he would have tried running the football a couple plays ago because the windows are so small to throw into down here. You've had an incompletion. You've now given up a sack. It's going to make this third down really tricky. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, and now forcing the incompletion, setting up fourth. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Absolutely perfect. Nice job making that field goal. You're down a possession here late in the game. You've got two timeouts in your back pocket. Do you trust your defense to be able to go out, get a stop, and get you the football back for one final shot? We're going to see. Not much of a choice here. Down by a score late. They'll line up for the onside kick. In a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Iowa has the ball back on offense. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level, though. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with the W. How nice is it in an offense when you can generate explosive plays by running the football? You got to force feed this guy, man. He is an absolute game changer. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. 
Looks like the offense will just take a knee. 